What's up, everybody? Let me pop in. One sec. All right. We're warming up. Turn this down here. Hello, everyone. Super Fractor incoming. I hope so. All right, all right, all right. Uh, <clears throat> so what are we doing? It's uh, it's an exciting night to be here. So uh, first of all, the I'm I'm gonna send out the announcement for who won the what month was it? May, March, March. Uh, the March Prism Undercard Box. I will leave a comment on the comment and I'll uh, I'll announce it in the next one too on Wednesday. But uh, I'm gonna do it uh, either tonight or tomorrow. We'll have that out so someone will get that and then you just gotta reach out and I'll send you the box. Uh, so somebody's going to win, and we'll get that announced tomorrow. Hello, everyone. Also, one real quick shout-out to everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, do all those things. It helps the channel, helps me. But uh, I did want to say that from the last video when we did the full case, the full case of Hobby, that video went absolutely bananas. So uh, thank you to all of you. Uh, it's the biggest video ever made. It's over 2,000 views right now, and the subscriber count went bonkers. We were at, like... 340 and now it's at like almost 500 right now so hopefully we'll get to 500 tonight and uh then i, I don't know what it is but there's some kind of like a super there's super chats uh that you can add so i'll look into it if it's if you guys want it uh let me know i'm okay with it i, I don't think it uh, it affects anything negatively so uh if you guys are interested in that let me know and i'll set it up i don't know what it is i, I don't i've never used it never bought one never even seen one but I will check it out. So we'll see if that's a thing that you want. It'll be there. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to rip. So full disclosure, because this is a family-friendly rip show channel creation here. Uh, this was not 20 boxes in a single case. What happened was the first day that you could buy these, you, they were on the UFC store. And you could buy up to eight. So I said, I'll take eight. And then after that, I think, where did I see them? I knew I wanted to get 20. I think the next place I saw them was on like the Tops website. And I ordered eight. And then I ordered like two from somewhere else. And then I went to the local card shop, the Chicagoland Sports Cards, which is by me. And I picked up two more and uh, some blasters. Because I had the same issue with the blasters. So it's not a true, true case break. But it's a case equivalency break. So I just want to let you know in case somebody's counting and says, hey, wait a second, like something's not quite right here. That's what it is. And uh, this is cool. What do we got here? Just like a, an Insano inside? I don't know what that is. It's a weird box. All right, so the cards are just stacked up in there. That's it. Just... Mega box, baby. And I watched I watched a little bit of video and read a little more about these. So the thing that we I think we're shooting for in these is there's an auto, a chrome auto in every one, guaranteed. And then there's X Factor parallels, which are like uh kind of like a checkerboard pattern. So those are fine. Uh and those would be debatably like a an X Factor would be worth more than a sepia, which is the exclusive out of the blaster and they'd probably be less than like a negative which is the exclusive out of the hobby so it's kind of cool like a mid-level parallel and uh, i've seen some of the old tops you see cards that have them or like a khabib x factor or something so it's kind of cool to see it's all coming back around I'm just getting a few of these out so we can go through them so that's that's basically it though as far as i saw it was mostly going to be like just kind of like lower level refractors, X factors, uh, one auto, and then you have a chance to get something better. So, and then within that, there's obviously the insert game is big. We went over the the odds video. The inserts are where it's at, like real low numbered stuff. All right, Whew. let's begin. Let's get those Cody G autos. Can you see? Let me. Adjust this a little, if I can. I just ordered some Megas. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Let's see a freak. Hi from the UK. Hello. Also, I've got my Jamal Hill and Poetan pile 
just hanging out over there. So if uh, either whoever, if either one, hopefully it's not like what happens if it's like a DQ or like a draw. Uh, whoever wins that, I got a stack, so I'll be keeping those going. So we got Pereira, Hoist Gracie, Stipe, Ludovic Klein, Aaron Blanchfield. I was surprised she lost. And here's a fired up insert. So this is our first insert, Gilbert Burns. And the fired up, uh, if you get a fired up with a, a, a parallel, those are also, if I remember correctly, I think that's one of them that's also pretty rare. Um, so the base one is probably like one in every three, four packs to get a fired up. But if you get like a gold or a black or something, it's much more uncommon. All right, so first X Factor is Rafael Dos Anjos. And you can see there's like a checkerboard pattern on them. So this is the exclusive Mega Box Parallel. So hopefully we get a Khabib out of these. That's I, That would be a nice thing to pick up for me. Uh, Chris Gutierrez, this is a silver, or just like a refractor. Allen and Ginter cards are fun. Ripped a Hobby Box today and pulled a Red Patty Pimblet. That sounds like a very, very rare card. <laughs> X Factors look like lucky envelopes. They do a little bit. Vulcan Uzdemir. There's a Khabib. Manel Cape. Thankfully, I've got most of the Khabib rainbow from Hobby. Jacob Malkoon. Bruno Ferreira. I saw somebody just got his 101. It's a big card. Big Ricky one. All right, so here's an Allen and Ginter. And I guess they make like a hot dog card for baseball. I don't fully understand it, but... It's kind of like Chronicles, I'm guessing, where it's like there's another series of cards in there. And it's cool. Daniel Cormier. World, the world's champions. Okay. So this, I think, is still just like an insert. So we'll put it over there. Fired up in Alan Ginter. Um, Korean Zombie X Factor. And Patty the Batty. There's an X already. It's 2 a.m. here in the UK. Let's make it worth my wait. I hope you enjoy. There's something that looks odd back there. Rose Namajunas. Tai Tuivasa. Cody No Love Garbrandt. Yasmin Lucindo. Macy Barber Auto. Okay. Got a Macy Barber Auto. We'll take it and we'll start beginning the sea of autos here again. So that's not bad. Macy Barber. And no serial number on that, but that's our first auto. And no one can see it over there, but I will correct that. Macy Barber auto. All right. And then right behind that, we got a brick by brick, which is, I can't tell if it's a refractor or if it's just, they're all like that, but. We'll just leave it for now. Check on that later. But uh, Grant Dawson. Put it in the maybe pile. Two more X-Factors. Armin Sarukian and Marab. Both good ones. These X-Factor cards might be a real pain to grade. Because if you... What I just noticed is you can see... See the line? Like, look right in there. There's like lines on here. And then there's the squares, and I wonder if these are just like a real nightmare. Because even the like the edges, the width of the the squares in the bottom is different. They might be a super tough grade. So something to to think about if you have a rare like if you have a uh, an S level guy like if you have a John Jones, it could be a GSP. It might be a super hard card to grade, and a PSA ten might be really rare. It's just speculation. Vicente Luque, I didn't think he was going to lose either. I might be getting old. I don't know what's going on anymore. Tito Ortiz. Petr Jan. Corey Sandhagen. There's a Charles Oliveira. Here's Roman Delice, Allen and Ginter. There's Amiro Bazi, X-Factor. And Yair, Refractor. There are rookies that they did not give emblems to. Johnny, Johnny, when's, when's your birthday? Is it today, tomorrow? Ryan Spann. 
Joshua Kulibau. I meant to look at the email from earlier, and I, I totally lost track of time. I was actually playing Destiny 2 earlier, and it was awesome. Marcin Tybura. Brandon Royval. Taylor Santos with a Prism Refactor, I think is what that is. Fried up. I always think it says fried up, like an egg. Yuri Prochaska, fried up. We got Alexander Romanoff. Matt Schnell with the X Factor. And one more pack out of there. 444, it's 44. You'll be 44? Dude, was, um, was Macy Barber... Was Macy Barber on your list? Johnny messaged me and he said, Hey, I, I want, really want to get in the break uh, that you got going on this week. And I said, Oh, sorry, it's there might be a red card back there, but we'll see. I said, Sorry, it's not a break. It's just like a rip. And uh, I said, Send me your five favorites and I'll see if I can get you some. But was Macy Barber on the list? Yeah, well, she was on the list, wasn't she? Melissa Gatto. Nicholas Dalby. All right, well, here. Happy birthday, dude. This one's going to you. Just send me your address. And that one is going in the mail to you. Enjoy. All right. It's for Kel Pennington. Aljamain Sterling. Alex Perez. Brick by brick, Mohamed Makayev. I, I would love this card with a serial number. It's a kind of a sick card. Yeah, it's all yours. And that is... It's actually a weird card, because there's, like, this outline of them. I don't know, maybe they're all like that. And this Grant Dawson is definitely a refractor. And then X-Factor Curtis Blades and Matus Gamrot. Next pack. Vince, I just asked the guys at the card shop the exact same question. And I was like, is it museum or what's next? Uh, and they said they didn't know yet. Mike Davis. Nikita Krylov. Renato Moishiano. Davis and Figueredo. Korean Zombie. We got another fried up. Another. I'll send you the Macy Barber fried up also. Here it is. This one's coming too. It's ladies' night. This one has a massive print line in it. Roman Delice. Actually, it has two print lines. But if you've, if you're not familiar, you can see that line right in the middle of the card, where it's going straight up there. It's just like it's almost like the rest of the card is shiny, and there's an unshiny part right there. But that'll give you a, a PSA eight immediately. Uh, Brendan Allen, refractor. I have Macy's Brick by Brick in front of me. It does not have that look on it, so you got a refractor. Sergey Spivak. Umar Nurmagomedov. Arnold Allen. Oh, we got a we got some color in here now. Bilal Muhammad. This is a 199. Aqua. Oh man, there's a good auto back there too. Uh, Steven Thompson. Aqua to 199 so that's cool. So this is like a hobby card in a mega box. Because you, if you watch that hobby video, we pulled like, I don't know, 15 of these, 20. So that's cool that you can get that. So there, there is the upside to get probably the 101. And, oh, I thought it was an auto, but it's not. It's just a Donald Cerrone Hall of Fame card. So like a cool new insert. Nice. Amanda Limosh and Paulo Costa with a print line on them. X Factor. Man and Fiora beat the brakes off Blanchfield. <laughs> Dude, I feel bad because there's a. I mean, I've sold some cards to people uh, that wanted those Blanchfield rookies, and I, I was having fun. I loved pulling Blanchfield cards. I just shipped somebody a Blanchfield card. It was great. It was great times. And to see her lose, it's like, oh, it stinks. But, you know, all you can do is you hope she gets back on the back on the horse, puts together a nice win streak, and one one loss on your record doesn't diminish the value of the cards entirely. Ode Osborne. And I'm actually working on a pricing system with some guys 
who are scraping UFC data for me right now. So I might have something interesting to share in a, a couple weeks. Ricky Simone, Chuck Liddell, so Dan Hooker, Joanna Jajacek. All right. Well, like, she's lost some fights, too. But now she's in the Hall of Fame, and I feel like it's a new floor for her as a Hall of Famer. Some of these are some of these cards are undervalued. Like in ten years, people are gonna go back and be like, "Oh man, these Hall of Fame cards! Like, you bought it for five bucks or ten bucks? It's crazy." Tell you, MMA is already bigger than NFL, NBA, MLB. It's just a matter of time. Patty Pimblett, brick by brick, and Alexander Volkanovsky, and another print line on the Parker Porter X Factor. You're killing me here, Panini. More tops. Fiora was a beast. The tough part is Manon was only throwing like single jabs in a row one too. JJ retired. She's in the Hall of Fame though. Should be fine. Huge Fiora collector, which we've been talking about coming back. Pedro Munoz. Penny Kianzad. Miles Johns. There's GSP fighting Johnny Hendricks. It's a cool card. I, for whatever reason, the writing on the side makes it just pop. Like it's a really cool card. Jack Jenkins. We got a fired up Yuri Prochaska. We got an Arnold Allen X Factor. These are gonna be crazy hard to grade. They all have like issues. They're very hard to to say what's a gem in ten here. And a Matus Rebecki refractor. Have a 101 Fioro Select rookie. A lot of the value on these cards, too, I've noticed is just entirely due to uh, the fan base. Like, how many fans these people have. Because there's fighters who are excellent, but when you sell their cards, are worth, like, you know, very little. And then there's hype wagons that are worth crazy amounts. So, just be, be careful. The long hold is probably the best hold. Marvin Vittori. Khalil Roundtree. Jessica Andrade, Diego Lopes, see him in two weeks, Eljamain Sterling, here's another, the Reaper, the Reaper from Helen and Ginter, Blah Muhammad, and Vanessa Demopoulos. I'm going to toss this Demopoulos into your birthday bonanza pack. I know, that's a name I remember for sure was on the list. <laughs> And I think, uh, I don't know, what, I didn't see a print line on it, but these X-Factors, man, don't, don't grade them unless you're sure. <laughs> Lower tiered autos in retail. That's, uh, that's what I was looking to see tonight, too. Kaikara France. Manuel Torres. Marcos Rogerio de Lima. Luana Carolina. Drick is Duplessis. Like, great fighter. Card value is very low. Path Blazers. Oh, man. This is the rarest insert in the game if it has a serial number. Like, even if it's to 150 or whatever, it's incredibly rare. Oh, man. GSP Path Blazers. I like that. Just, just double checking one more time. It's not a refractor. Even the refractor is like 1 in 140 packs. Chuck Liddell and Sean Strickland, X-Factor, with a print line. If you remember his name, though, be interested in Allen and Ginter inserts if you're selling. Sure, Scott. Just send me an email, and you can have all of them. Just let me, you can, whatever you think's fair is fine. Sadiq Youssef. Yair Rodriguez. Ariana Lipsky. It's uh, UFCbreaks at gmail.com. Derek Lewis. Gabriel Miranda. Another Hall of Fame. So these must only be in here. Jens Pulver. That's cool. So these Hall of Fame cards, they're inserts, but they're either Megabox or Megabox slash Blaster only. Kelvin Gastelum, X-Factor. And Ilya Taporia, Refractor. Nate the Train. <laughs> that guy's crazy, isn't he? Landweir. 
Choi Sung Woo. Nasruddin Imovov. I think we got a blue back here. John Jones. Israel Adesanya. Ooh, a blue wave. Blue wave Tito Ortiz to 75. So that's that's good. We're getting a little lower serial number here in the second. Second, third, third box. It's a little color. And we got Macy Bar uh, sorry, Aaron Blanchfield, brick by brick. And then Jeff Neal, punching Shafkat, which is funny. And then Justin Taffa. The X Factor set would be a cool set to, to collect. What happened? Miranda, what are you guys talking about? I had no idea it was on Twitch. Brian Battle is, uh, is is one I've noticed in that the first Joanna auto I've seen, Carlos Pereira. Interesting. Uh, Michael Chiesa. Mathus Nicolau. Holly Holm. I'm really looking forward to watching her fight. UFC 300. I gotta, like, take a day off or something. Dustin Poirier. Here's a uh, Hafiel Fiziev, and this is, I think, called the Signature UFC Signatures card. So we got a Fiziev, a Joanna, and a, uh, what was it, Macy Barber? Put them in the Sea of Autos here. Another Allen and Ginter, Chuck Liddell. There's an Islam, and Robbie Lawler. Is anyone having fun yet tonight? <laughs> I'm having fun. I've been waiting to open these for a week. I, I was I took my family on vacation last week, and uh, I was just like trying to uh, choreograph shipments of cards to get everything here ready. Ketlin Vieira, Justin Gaethje, Paulo Costa, Josh Emmett. There's uh, Melchizio Conceição. Ooh. Pathblazers, Chuck Liddell. Pathblazer. Jelton Almeida and Ariana Lipsky Refractor. So primarily it's silvers, mostly X Factors actually. Um, and a little bit of like hobby color. It also makes me feel like the total print print for this, like the print run, is not that high. Because the fact that there's hobby parallels in mega boxes and i'm guessing in blasters they're not going to be able to cover that much like in panini it was different it was each one had some different stuff parker porter vanessa demopoulos alexandra pantoja anderson silva dustin poirier with a prism refractor brick by brick the pimblet Johnny Walker and Sergei Pavlovich X Factors. Allen and Ginter cards look great. They do look cool. All right, Sean Strickland, Roman Delice, Hafiel Fiziev, Bryce Mitchell. They're talking about Bryce versus Nate the Train. Demir Ismagulov. We got a fried up Yuri Prochaska. Just a base. Elves Brenner. And Taylor Santos with the X Factor. I gotta move these or they're gonna get thrown in a pile. All right. Shavkat. Tom Aspinall, Zhang Wee Li, Bruno Ferrara, Cody Garbrandt. We got a GSP Hall of Fame insert. This one's for you, Canada. Very nice. That's a, These are cool inserts. I think these are much better than a lot of the Panini ones. Michael Chandler, X Factor, and uh, Jack Jenkins Refractor. And just so you guys know, I've got a, a a pile for you guys up in Nova Scotia, and uh, I'm going to send this one to you as well. So, 
that'll be up there coming coming soon. Coming to a family up in Nova Scotia soon. It's where the GSP cards belong, not in the south side of Chicago. <laughs> William Gomes. Hafa Garcia. Paul Craig. Yasmin Lucindo. Corey Sandhagen. O'Malley, Brick by Brick Base. Figueredo and a Man in Fioro X Factor. There we go. Canada Pride. Cody for the PC. <laughs> Tops would be legendary if they release dual auto of Diego Sanchez and Fabio. <laughs> I don't know if Kayla can make weight, but we'll see. Canada Pride. There's a, a lot of Canadians who love the UFC. Manon Fioro. Leon Edwards. Charles Oliveira. Brennan Roy Val. What do we got here? Johnny Parsons auto? What? I don't even know this was in here. The Johnny Parsons rookie auto? All right. All right. Johnny. Johnny Johnny Parsons rookie auto. Fried up uh, Ilya Taporia. Chan Sung Jung and Leon Edwards X Factors. I can't wait to see Kayla Harris. Kamar Usman. Natalia Cristina da Silva. Raul Rosas. Eljamain Sterling, Alex Perez, Allen and Ginter, Kamaru Usman, Armin Sarukian, X Factor, and then a nice Michael Chandler refractor. My mega box is held up in Chicago for two days. <laughs> I know I know it's fired up, not fried up, but every time I read it, like in the, the checklist and stuff, I just my eyes see it and I just think it's just fried up. Sean O'Malley. Yudong Song. Valentina Shevchenko. Got some kind of color coming here. Derek Lewis. We got a Prism Refractor, Caitlin Sermonara. Pathblazer. Oh please, I want it. I want these Pathblazers to have parallels. And I, I, I'm guessing these are either Mega Box or Mega Box and Blaster only. And with this many, we're gonna get something. And I'm gonna show you. They're super rare and they're super valuable. Like a red Pathblazers or a Super Factor Pathblazer is the rarest card in the set. So let's keep looking. Amir Albazi and Kamar Usman. Fried up. If it's not numbered, it's fried up. I can't help it. I just <laughs> that insert to me will be the fried up insert. Inu Mizuki, the guy at the local card shop, Chicagoland Sports Cards. Uh, I walk in and I was talking to him because I had to buy two of these megas, and he's like, "I just got this uh, Mizuki card. It's a one on one. Is it any good?" And I was like, "Yeah, it's all right." <laughs> so he got he pulled the one on one though, like right before I walked in. Vale Woodburn, Rafael Dos Anjos. Gabriel Miranda, John Jones. We got a brick by brick Macy Barber. Guess where that one's going? Alexander Romanoff and Natalia Cristina da Silva. All right, so first four boxes down, I think. First four boxes. Got four autos, a lot of X Factors. One of these boxes is like bent or damaged or something, so can't wait to see what's in there. I think it's in the back there, though. Okay. So it's two serial numbered. We got a, a blue wave and an aqua. Um, the rest is it's most it's almost all X factors. So. If you're if you're buying these looking for monsters, let's 
Let's see what we get. Kind of averaged out over 20 of them. Right now, though, to be honest, I I don't know how I feel five boxes in. I like that there's a guaranteed auto. That's big, and that makes a difference compared to a thirty dollar blaster. But the one, the only problem is you're kind of paying thirty dollars for like maybe a mid level, low level auto, which you know most of them aren't worth that. So we'll see. We'll see what the, the potential is. And on Wednesday night this week, we're going to do blasters. And I've got another Frankenstein case of 40 blasters. And I'll be ripping those all open so we can have a look at what's in there. Oh, and the uh, that Shavkat Rachmanov card, number to five. That card is so nasty. Uh, that is currently a PSA being graded. So we'll see. If it comes out of 10, I think it's worth a few bucks more. Aspen Lad. The bent boxes are good luck. Shara Bullet. All right, Max Holloway. Neil you know, Magni. Rob Font. Derek Lewis, Refractor, uh, Refractor, what is this, Prism Pennington, Brick by Brick Base Blanchfield, Brandon Royval, and Shara Bullet X Factor. I don't know which one is this one. Yeah, I don't know. These are, these are like, I like that they're big boxes, too. It makes it kind of fun, like, just having something big to open. Um, I think this might just have, like, really good high-end hits and a lot of X-Factor otherwise. Sergei Spivak. We'll see. Umar Nurmagomedov. Ode Osborne. Gabriel Miranda. John Jones. There's a Valentina Allen and Ginter. Aljamain Sterling. And Atman Izatar. Pull the red market shift through a five. That's a big pull. If any of you are on Facebook in the card groups, you probably know where I work. Ricky Simone. Pedro Munoz. Penny Kianzad. Israel Adesanya. Holly Holm. We got another Hall of Fame card here. Forrest Griffin. It's cool. Mackenzie Dern, X Factor, and Dusko Todorovic, Refractor. You know, the thing is, I don't think they can add too many more serial numbered cards to this particular boxes. Because you figure out how many they have in hobby guaranteed, like, they're going to run out of cards. That's why I don't think this print line is real big. Miles Johns, Marvin Vittori, Dustin Poirier. Is there another card there? No. Josh Emmett. Uh, Sparkle. To $2.99. Dominic Cruz. Okay. Jelton Almeida. Brick by Brick. Alex Perez. And Max Holloway. X-Factor. I don't think we've seen a single Jamal Hill or Poetan yet. So they're definitely... Those are definitely a little short. I've got about, uh, I think I got about two hundred dollars worth of Jamal Hill and like three fifty worth of Poetan Redemptions right now. Khalil Roundtree, Kaikara France, Melchizio Conceição, Alexandre Pantoja, Brandon Roy Valado. All right, Brandon Roy Val. What do you What do you all think about this? What's a Brandon Roy Val Auto going for these days? That's not too bad. You open any of the Chrome Delight boxes? I have not yet, Win, but I was looking at buying a case. We got a fried up Dan Hooker. Derek Lewis. Neil Magny, X Factor.
I want Max to win too. He has kick. He has a kick channel and streams almost daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen Max on uh, on there a few times. Manuel Manuel Torres, Marcus Rogerio de Lima, Mike Davis, Anderson Silva, Bryce Mitchell, Allen and Ginter, Dominic Cruz. A long time ago. Gabriel Miranda, X Factor, Juliana Pena, Refractor. The Baker's Delights are nice. They're weird, though, because the odds are way worse to pull, like, the ultimate high end cards, but they have more, like, higher level autos and parallels, I think. Um, but they're more expensive than Hobby, so it's kind of it's a little strange. Benil Dariush. I actually don't think they're a good value, but I assume I'm doing it anyways. Anshul Jubilee. Alexander Volkov. Mike Davis. There's a Rose Namajunas Prism Refractor. There's a Chuck Liddell. Alan Ginter. Johnny Walker and Kaikara France X Factor. Yeah, just the hits with no base, but... The, like, there's certain ones that they have a little bit better chance of hitting, or it's almost the same as Hobby, but they're more expensive than Hobby boxes. Chris Gutierrez. Wait, is that right? Maybe I, I might have, that might not be right. I might have read that wrong. Ilya Teporia. I was trying to, if somebody can Google it, how much is a case of Breaker's Delight? Because the case of Hobby was like 3000 Jalen Turner, Nikita Krylov, Hinato Moisiano, woo baby, Path Blazer, but it's a base. I feel like we're going to get a big Path Blazer tonight. Elves Brenner and Manuel Torres X-Factor. All right, Brad Katona. Alan Nascimento, Anthony Smith, Shavkat Rachmanov, Laura Senko's favorite, Tom Aspinall, Brick by Brick, Aaron Blanchfield, X Factor, Marcos Regiro de Lima, and Monteserrat Canejo Refractor. Did you get any nibbles on that Shavkat? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people actually messaged uh, and said they wanted it. But I just sent it to PSA, because if it's a 10, it could be worth pretty big money. Ian Machado Gary. Jamal Hill, finally, we got a, another $20 redemption. If any, if you get this or a Poetan, any of them, base, parallel, whatever, they're worth like $20, 30 40 50 $60 redemption. Whoever wins the at UFC 300, uh, you bring it to a card shop, you give them the card, base card or whatever, they'll give you credit in the store, so you can get another box. Let the cycle continue. Zhang Wee Li. William Gomes. Here's a green. A Gilbert Burns, the 99. This is why I just don't think there can be that many uh, total cards. Like The fact that we're pulling the same cards at a much reduced rate, but same cards as the hobby box, this is significantly less print run. Who's that? Bo Nickel fired up. Bo Nickel, fired up insert. I haven't seen many of him yet. Josh Quinlan and Mike Davis. Giant Sports, 3080. Blow up. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying is, like, if they're the same or, like, slightly more than Hobby, but Hobby has better odds, it that maybe, there's, maybe there's more autos, more re refractors, parallels in there, but... I was like, I don't know. I think if it's it's supposed to be less expensive, is the way it's supposed to work. In baseball, they're less expensive. In UFC, they're more for some reason. Jocelyn Edwards. Jared Cannonier. Hafa Garcia. Paul Craig. That's a Matus Gamrod auto, which is not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Aljamain Sterling, Alan Ginter, 
Dusko, Todorovic, and Nikita Krylov X Factors. The buyback stops at 200 clams? Are you sure? Well, if that's the case, I'm going to have to go to two shops. Dominic Reyes. Irene Aldania. Adrian Yanez. Michael Chandler. Manon Fioro. Joshua Kulibau. Another GSP insert. GSP in the Hall of Fame. Dan Ige and Leon Edwards. All right, moving right along. Our group hit the Bo Nickel 101 Immaculate today. Immaculate release. Yikes. I just bought the, uh, the Khabib Immaculate from this year. Ian Machado Gary. Jamal Hill, $20. Maybe at two shops. Jocelyn Edwards. Peter Yan. Rob Font. Prism Refractor. Brick by Brick Fiziev. Corey Sandhagen. Cheeto Vera. $200 is the highest. Is it the highest payout or for a high-end card. Yeah, but can can I turn in more than $200 worth or I can only get 200 Jared Cannonier. Dominic Reyes. Irene Aldania. Ryan Spann. Joshua Kulibau. Fried up. Drickus Duplessis. Here's an example of a good fighter. Cards don't sell very well, though. Very small fan base. Charles Oliveira and Magomed and of X Factors. Okay, all right. But yeah, isn't the Super Fractor like two hundred? Like, well, I w I don't think if the guy wins the fight and you have a one of one, I don't think you're gonna trade it in for two hundred dollars store credit. I think you go on eBay and and try to unload that thing for a thousand or something. Adrian Yanez. Azamat Mirzakhanov, Carla Esparza, Marcin Tybura, Melissa Gatto, The Reaper, Alan and Ginter, Caitlin Sermonara, X Factor, Carlson Harris, Refractor. Nobody wants to collect the guy who kisses his friends on the lips. <laughs> Maybe it's just a cultural thing. Yeah, well, also, if everyone does the buyback, there's not going to be, like, any uh, Poetan refractors or, or, like, parallels that year. So, kind of an interesting thing. Ludovic Klein. Aaron Blanchfield. Nicholas Dalby. Raquel Pennington. What is this? All right, we're getting a little gravy here. Amanda Nunez, Aqua to 199 Another serial numbered card. Also, I gotta go back and look at all those magenta cards. Because online, they look, on like eBay and stuff, they look magenta to me, but they're numbered to five. And I was like, what are the odds that I have like a five in here I didn't notice? And it's probably high, because I was getting tired at the end of that case. Adesanya Pathblazers. Although a lot of you probably would have spotted it. Brandon Royval. And Michael, Michael, Michelle Pereira, X Factor. I would only send in the low parallels. Amanda cards are so underrated. Yeah. Well, again, it's like double champ. She's kind of like the female Conor McGregor. Uh, Hall of Fame. I mean, it, I, I just think they're, they're going... They're undervalued, for sure. If you just compare the quality of, of competition, like her ELO rating, any number of records, it's easy to see. Jacob Malkoon. Bruno Ferreira. The biggest problem in the UFC right now in cards is that when a fighter loses one fight, everyone wants to dump them and, and move on. But in any other sport in the world, like if the Yankees lose one game, you're not like burning your cards and throwing them out the window. You know, it's like here it's all or nothing, but it's going to have to evolve beyond that. Sadiq Youssef, Yair Rodriguez, 
Tony Ferguson, Octagon Legends is right. Like, this man right here, same thing. Everyone loves El Kikui. Look at Tony El Kikui Ferguson. This is, um, this is amazing. But his cards are so undervalued, it's crazy. Like, you could buy... You could buy his one ones and stuff, and it'd be, like, minimal, minimal investment for a guy who, for sure, will be in the Hall of Fame. Kamzat Shemaev, brick by brick. Aljamain Sterling, Hoist Gracie. All right. Nice Tony. He should retire. It's because you can't let him fight like an, a, a super prelim either, because it's like too beneath him for what he's done. They they need to just find a way to like incorporate him into the sport, but not as a fighter. Cody Garbrandt, honestly, he'd make maybe like a good ref. Can you imagine him like walking around like in the, in the zone watching these? Yasmin Lucindo, Corey Sandhagen, Ariana Lipsky. Choi Sung Woo. There's a Stipe Miocic, Allen and Ginter. Alex Perez, X Factor, and Hanato Moishiano. All right, so we're on to box number eight. Losing a fight rightfully drops a fighter's stock more than losing a game when there are 100 games. Um. Yeah, but I think it's relative. Because in a, a fighter's career, if they only have 10 fights or 15 fights in the UFC, uh, losing one would have... If it's a weighted average, it, it would all kind of work out similar. Because in baseball, you might play thousands of games, but you'll lose hundreds. Jalen Turner. Brad Katona. Alan Nascimento. Marcos Ruggiero de Lima. Mike Davis. I'm not saying the stack should go up sideways or whatever, but I think, honestly, having, like, ELO ratings for all the fighters and then adjusting them after each Saturday night would give you a better indicator of the value. And, like, maybe if they're, like, tier A, B, C, D, and then the relative value of, like, is it Prism, is it Select, is it Chronicles? Fried up, Patty Pimblet. Alex Perez, X-Factor. Max Holloway, Refractor. Tony throw Sand Ferguson. Fighters that'll be offered three fights per year. I mean, if you lose, like Anthony Smith is on my no bet list. I don't care if the cards go down in value, but the percentages are, are drastic. Like it's it's very volatile because people are freaked out. But I think as we evolve as like a collecting hobby for UFC. You're going to see it's it's going to steady out, and like Hall of Famers will always be kind of capped at a certain range. Uh, rookies will, will still be going crazy, and people who are actively fighting will actually retain better value long term. Ian Machado Gary, that's how it is in every other sport that's well developed. Jamal Hill, $20. Nikita Krylov. Roman Delice, Prism Refractor. Who's that, Nunez? Mana Nunez, Alan and Ginter. There's a Derek Lewis X Factor and a Roman Delice X Factor. So I have most of the X Factor set completed here, eight boxes in. And I got a lot of silver and prism. But that's that's about that's about it besides the autos and a, a couple of parallels. We're getting about one parallel per box. Jocelyn Edwards. Jared Cannonier. Dominic Reyes. Hanato Moishiano, Shavkat Rachmanov. Ooh, uh, we got a refractor fired up. Aljamain Sterling. All right, a little, little juice on that one. Gabriel Miranda and Hafiel Fiziev, X Factors. We're about. Are we halfway? I think it's halfway already. Keep it fried, <laughs> Khabib should have fought one more time. Irene Eldania, I'm glad he's done. <laughs> they offered him like 15 million or something, and he said no. 
Charles Oliveira, Adrian Yanez, Tom Aspinall, Zhang Weili. Listen, I would have liked to have seen Khabib fight as a fan, but as like an investor, I am very happy to see him just on the sidelines at this point because I don't want anything to happen to my my stash. Brick by brick, Tom Aspinall. Virna Jandaroba, looking good. Looking very good last uh, two days ago. Jack Hermanson, refractor. I'll tell you what What did not look good was that uh, that Chris Weidman fight was trash. I let, let me dissect one thing. If you can eye poke an opponent four times and not re- lose a point at any point, but at the end, after it's all confused and a mess and the refs and Dana White and everyone are having a powwow, and they say, well, because he jabbed him in the eye twice, clearly, we'll stop the fight and just score it to there. That's a horrible move. Because what will happen is, let's say your corner tells you, they go, hey, Glenn, you're up two rounds. Just go jab him in the eye and get out of here. Like, you don't want him swinging at you crazy. You know, he's going to come out swinging hard in that third round. Just poke him in the eye twice. They'll stop the fight. Judge it. You win. That's a horrible, horrible decision on their part. That's that's the precedent they just set. Azamat Mirzakhanov, Carla Esparza, William Gomes, Gomes, Hafa Garcia. We got an orange card. Getting down there. Dustin Poirier. That's pretty good. Poirier, 24 of 25, orange. I'm happy with that. Card number to 25 out of the box. Glory cards are rare. Makes sense. I can't believe Raul Rose. What is this? Cerrone, Alan Ginter. These are cool. John Jones and Shara Bullet. I thought the Allen and Ginter were going to be kind of crappy. Uh, just because my friends told me, they're like, oh, yeah, they make a card with a hot dog on it for baseball. And I didn't, I've never even looked at one. But the UFC ones seem cool. Even if he had lost a point in the third, he would have still got the win. They need to change the gloves. I've heard the gloves are so tight when you close your face. Uh, Ludovic Klein. Aaron Blanchfield. Paul Craig, Michael Chandler, we got a Rob Font Auto, we got a Michelle Pereira Base Pathfinder, I feel like there's a big one coming, Israel Adesanya, and Atman Izatar X-Factor, so our, our auto for that batch is a Rob Font, the Boston Cartel, it's, tonight's not the River of Autos, it's... It's like the parade of autos. Get rid of these. All right, what do we got? Oh, we still got plenty of boxes here. What's everyone think of these so far? What's the the initial thoughts? They just need to pay Trevor his money and these gloves. But they almost force your hands open. I was talking to Marina Rodriguez about the what? I was talking to Marina about the gloves. Allen and Ginter cards are my favorite. They're cool. We need a big parallel, though. That's what I'm, I'm missing so far. I mean, it, it's cool to open all these boxes and just have an insane amount of autos to, to check out. Um, but th- it definitely feels like these are lower-end autos, whereas in the hobby, it was all like, have a Muhammad Makayev, have a Shavkat, like, here's a GSP National Pride, or whatever, you know, like the Marks of Glory. These are definitely, like, maybe top 15 or whatever, but, like, smaller fan base. Too many X Factors. I I actually feel like it's okay to have a lot of them, but it does seem predominant. Well, the the thing is, is like, if we get a monster out of one of these, 
and you say, okay, in 20 boxes you get a monster. Then we gotta do the math and figure it out, because Hobby did seem good, though. The, and maybe it was just that case. That case I opened, I don't know if it was loaded or not, but it felt real good. I mean, I felt like every box I opened was good. I, I mean, it just felt like every single one that was loaded. Okay, and then we got six, seven, eight more after I open these four. Target has some 40 for a Mega, 30 for a Blaster. Yeah, so... Oh, 60. Yeah, I had to, I paid 60 for most of these and 70 for a couple. Demir Ismagulov, Gilbert Burns, Jack Hermanson, Justin Taffa, Robbie Lawler, Alan and Ginter, Stipe Miocic. We got Alex Perez, X Factor, Melissa Gatto, Refractor. Yeah, it seems it seems like they're kind of in between, but they do have they are the best in class for getting certain hits. So we'll see. I so far you, I there's no pathfinders in hobby, so we'll see. Maybe get something big. Aljamain Sterling, Alex Perez, Derek Lewis, Valentina Shevchenko. There's RDA with the Prism Refractor. Here's a Jens Pulver insert. And we got a Sandhagen and Vicente Luque with a print line X Factor. Those print lines are rough. The case was loaded. It was. The case was so good. Gabriel Miranda. John Jones. Israel Adesanya. Inu Mizuki. Val Woodburn. Fried up, Derek Lewis. Charles Oliveira. Tito Ortiz with a massive print line in the middle. X-Factor. If you're buying an X-Factor card, be careful. There's a lot of print lines. I, I don't know. I, I mean, it's interesting that there's a, an auto in every box. And we'll see what the highs and lows are of that. William Gomes. Hafa Garcia, Paul Craig, Dominic Reyes, Irene Eldenia, Fried Up, Yuri Prochaska, Paulo Costa, X Factor, and Yair Rosenstrike, Refractor. Paul Felder. Patty Autos are selling great. Break spots are going at 40 to 50. Holly Holm. I'm just buying Carini Killa Silva break spots if they're cheap. Like $5 or $10. Nobody knows who she is. She's a monster. Dustin Poirier. Josh Emmett. Rafael Dos Anjos. Patty. Colby Covington. Bingo Bango Maralago. Alan Ginter. Peter Jan, print line. Anderson Silva, refractor. Melchizio Conceição. There's a blue card back there. Alexandre Pantoja, Marab Devashavili. Matt Schnell, Jigachikatse to 150. Oh, man, I just got faked out. I thought there was a really good Path Blazer card, but it wasn't. Chicka Chikatsi, that's blue to 150. And I have something in my eye. Apologies. So I saw the Connor, and I saw the shininess, and I just watched Roadhouse last night at like 2 in the morning. But I saw the shinies behind it, and I thought it was a Refractor Path Blazer Connor, which would have been awesome, but it wasn't. So we move on. And here's a Brandon Roy Val. And Ryan Spann with a massive print line. These are... I don't know. There's this is, there's a lot of print lines. I may put them all in an envelope and just send them to the tops and say, Yo, what's the deal? Anderson Silva. I'm definitely not going to sell them to anybody. Bryce Mitchell. 
Matus Gamrat. Looks like something different here. Uh, we got a Kelvin Gastelum. And a Frank Shamrock Auto. Octagon Legend Frank Shamrock. I like it. See, I like some of these older Hall of Fame guys. I think they're really cool. Like, having a Jens Pulver, a Frank Shamrock, having, like, Tony. Like, I think having a lot of these are cool. And I think these... These are kind of like in their own league as far as value. Because it was a different sport back then. All right. Fried up Carl, Carlos Ulberg. Uh, Algermain Sterling and Josh Kulibau. This pack feels thick. Dude, Roadhouse is great. I, I saw the they show like the link to watch another movie and stay up all night and it was like come watch the original Roadhouse and I was like nah, I'm not ready for that right now <laughs> but I think I'm gonna watch it Michael Chandler Manon Fioro it like Roadhouse the new one it's not like the greatest plot line or anything but it it is fun to watch it's a fun watch Adrian Yanez Asma Merzikano if we got another orange card here this time it's Ketlin Vieira. So you can buy Breakers Delight Boxes for more than Hobby and get these orange cards. Or you can buy the Mega and get Ketlin Vieira to 25. Interesting. Another Stipe, Alan Ginter. Ludovic Klein and another print line, Parker Porter. It's like every, it's always the second X Factor has the print line. I've got what you want in exchange for the Frank Auto. What do I want? Uh, Leon Edwards. Kamara Usman. Carla Esparza. Ludovic Klein. Another, so this is two autos, I think, here. we got a Corey Sandhagen auto now. And this one's to 150 So this maybe is... Like a more, not like a case hit, but like multi-box hit or something. Because none of the other ones are numbered, but this one is. And there was for sure that's two autos in the same box. So uh, we're seeing a Sandhagen to 150 is maybe like a bonus auto. Cerrone Pathblazer, base. Aaron Blanchfield and Vanessa Demopoulos with, again, like Insano print line. I wonder if that's what the... Well, I don't know. I was just saying, like, maybe they said they had some kind of a quality issue. That's why they pushed back the release. But was it because every second X Factor had a print line? Who knows? There's something shiny back there. Natalia Cristina da Silva. Raul Rosas. Did he clean his room or whatever he had to do so his dad would let him fight again? Sean O'Malley. Aaron Blanchfield. Jacob Malcoon. Brick by Brick Fiziev base. That might have been the color I saw. Jacob Malkoon X Factor and a Tito Ortiz Refractor. Game worn fighter worn patches? You want Khabib? What Khabib do you have? <laughs> Bring it to me. Bring it to its rightful home. Yidong Song. Valentina Shevchenko. Bruno Ferrara, Cody Garbrandt, Prism Refractor, Gabriel Miranda, Alan Ginter, Roman Delice. We got Bruno Ferrara, X Factor, and Sean Strickland, Print Line Factor. I'm a little disappointed that they're all print lines. I think that's a valid complaint. Pulled a boss root in the 25. It's awesome. Print lines are brutal. Just waiting for the hangers. Are they doing UFC Tops hangers for sure? I don't know. I didn't see that listed on the on the list. I just saw blasters. Inu Mizuki? Doesn't mean they won't, but I, I didn't see it as planned. Val Woodburn. RDA. Yasmin Lucindo. Corey Sandhagen. We got another GSP. This card with a parallel on it would be great. 
the GSP Hall of Fame. Cody Garbrandt and Printline Delice. All right. Maybe it's just like a couple of boxes that have that problem. They love to make those banger hangers. Yeah, I don't think they printed enough cards to do it. Like, because you can see I'm pulling 25s out of these, and I got the. It just seems like there's not enough to go around. Josh Coolibau is really to sign you, which means you have good odds to get a 101. Holly Holm. Dustin Poirier. Tai Tuivasa, Prism Refractor. There's a John Jones, and that's a parallel. That's a Refractor, Allen and Ginter. So a nice little pickup there. Grant Dawson, and it's miraculously clean. Hafa Garcia, X Factor. That GSP in an auto would be great. Yeah. Top UFC update will have hangers. Did they announce that they're going to have an update, like, later? I hope they do. Marcin Tybura. Melissa Gatto. Josh Emmett. Melchizio Conceição. Alexandre Pantoja. Fried up Patty Pimblet. We got Jack Della Maddalena X-Factor. And Paul Craig X Factor. Looks like we're getting away from some of the print lines now. Nicholas Dalby, Raquel Pennington, Anderson Silva, Bryce Mitchell, Demir Ismagulov. Who's that? Mackenzie Dern? Mackenzie Dern, Alan Ginter. Nice. Michael Chandler, X-Factor, and Conor McGregor, Refractor, The Roadhouse. Gato's rookie tune does not have a rookie emblem. Yeah, the John Jones worked out good. <laughs> John Jones, Refractor, Alan Ginter. Sadiq Youssef. Yair Rodriguez. Gilbert Burns. Jack Hermanson. Here's another one. Movsar Evloyev. Uh, Aqua to 199. I'll take it. Evloev's another one that's like super undervalued. He's he's potentially the next champion, and his cards are dirt cheap. Like if you want to gamble on somebody, gamble on somebody who's like just beating all comers. Evloev, I think is a real shot, and I think his cards are crazy cheap. Chuck Liddell, that's cool. I met him at UFC Austin. He was super nice. I was talking to him for a few minutes. Jamal Emmers. Manon Fiore. Jamal Emmers, man. What What can I say? He, stylistically, looked better than Nate the Train. And I think at some point he took a deep breath and he was circling that cage and he was like, I got nowhere to go. Like, I'm moving. But I got, I got nowhere to go, and this guy just won't stop. And then he just started getting pieced up. Ariane Lipsky. Sungwoo Choi. Yuri Prochaska. Fernando Padilla. Here we go. Jiga Chikatse. It's the Jiga time, baby. Jiga Jiga. Jiga Jiga. Muhammad Makaya, brick by brick base. Uh, Damone Blackshear and Leon Edwards, X Factors. I have a lot of X Factors here. He has no fan base. That's right. But if he, like if he becomes the champion and he starts speaking a little more English, I'll I'll buy those cards. Why not? Nasruddin Nemovov. Michael Chiesa. Chika Chikatse. Dominic Cruz, another guy. He actually has a fan base, but his cards are worth nothing. Ex-champion. Daniel Cormier. Fried up. Aljamain Sterling. Johnny Parsons. 
Get his auto earlier, X Factor, and then Natalia Christina da Silva, a refractor. All right, moving along. Ariana Lipsky, also a rookie. I know a few Mozart collectors. They're smart people, I bet. What is that? Juliana Pena. Rodrigo Nascimento. Steven Wonderboy Thompson. There's a Cyril Gan card. Bill Elgio. Another one. Just iced. Shavkat Rachmanov. Ryan Spann, X Factor. And Johnny Walker, Refractor. I haven't gotten my Khabib X Factor yet, and I'm going to be upset if it has a giant print line in it. Tim Elliott. Shavkat. Oh, sorry, I was I was said Shavkat, and I was like, that doesn't look like Shavkat. Shailen Nerdenbicki. Alonzo Menafield, Amanda Limosh, Alexander Volkanovsky. There she is. Yasmin Lucindo, Alan and Ginter. Chris Gutierrez and Josh Kulibau, X Factor. Have the blue wave and diamond and the base of it. Might make the rainbow. There's a Movsar. Shogun Hua. Looks kind of like a blurry photo of Arnold Allen. Bilal Muhammad. Yadong Song Auto. Right? Well, it's definitely a different set of autos in, in Megatown. All right, Cerrone, we got an Ilya Taporia X-Factor, and Marcin Tibera. Move a few of these. My inserts are going all over the place here. One second, guys, one second. GSP is causing problems over here, apologies. It's just too many cards. Okay, we're back. I also have the sports bra. I don't know if those sports bras are going to take off. I've seen a lot of them. Like, I see guys have the, like, um, I don't know, some of you have seen Ladies Fighter. They have the sports bra autographed, like, at home, and I'm like, I don't know. I just don't know if it's a good look. Marlon Vera. Magomed Ankalaev, Caitlin Seminara, Chuck Liddell, Dan Hooker, Brick by Brick Grant Dawson, and we got a Jalen Turner and Macy Barber Refractor. The thing with the sports bra is like, a bra is really like underwear. And they don't, you can't buy like, Michael Jordan's boxers that he wore in Game Six, at least not that I know of. So it's a weird, it's a weird match. Yeah, the whole thing. I know. Michelle Pereira, Hoist Gracie. Can you imagine you went over to your buddy's house? He was like, "Yo, check this out. I've got MJ's underwear from Game Six down here, framed. Want to touch it? Like <laughs> it'd be too weird." Stepe Miocic. GSP, Natalia Cristina da Silva, Fried Up, Paul Craig, Brad Katona, and Melissa Gatto, X Factors. Right, we still got eight more boxes to go. Vulcan Uzdemir, Khabib Base, Manel Kopp. Jack Jenkins. I need the Khabib X Factor, man. Jessica Andrade. Colby Covington. Allen and Ginter. 
Alan Nascimento, and Nicholas Dalby. All right. So, I've got to move some of this because I have so many cards out here. i got to do a quick little reshuffle. You think they wash things? <laughs> like a walkout hoodie's fine. Jersey's fine. A lot of it's fine. I just feel like the collectible sports underwear market. I don't know. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure about that one. Like, can you buy like Tiger Woods underwear? I don't think you can. I don't think it's for sale. And that's why I know the sports bra is like. It's really. It shouldn't even be called a sports bra. It should be called, like, a woman's jersey or something. Like, because it's, I guess it is, it's both. But the, uh, just the word bra in there just gives it this underwear connotation that I, it makes me laugh. But that's, that's my opinion. You do whatever you want. If you want, you want to get the, the Mackenzie Dern sports bra rainbow, you go right ahead. You're not hurting anybody. I gotta move some of these base though, or I will hurt myself when they fall over and I'm trapped like Seymour Skinner back in the day. All right, I'm almost right here. Sorry, there's a little delay. Okay. I think we're all right now. Did I miss something, or why does he keep saying fried up? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I was thinking about that. Like, someone's going to come in here and be like, this guy's an idiot. He can't even read. But uh, I don't know. I, I just I looked at that spreadsheet for the odds for so long, and every time I read it in tiny, like, size 6 font, I thought it said fried up at first glance over and over. And I just started calling it that. So now it's my own personal inside joke. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's too late for me. I don't know how many of these mega boxes we're going to open. We might only have one fried up night. Might have two. We'll see. If I get a one one path blazer, I'll be ordering ten more cases. So we'll see. But actually, I don't think I am. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure value-wise these are the best, but I'll get on to all that later. If you don't try, you won't know. What's going on there? I don't think we're going for the Dern sports bra. Dern thong. Oh my. Out of 66. Serial numbered underwear. Only in the UFC. <laughs> All right. We need to pull a big card to drive this conversation back in the proper, victorious direction. Let's go. Let's go. All right. My buddy was sitting next to Mackenzie Dern uh, two weeks ago. He was at the Apex, in. Uh, he was like at the, where the fighters walk out afterwards. He was, he was a video of him shaking hands with Rose Namajunas and uh, like congratulating her and stuff. But he said he was sitting next to Mackenzie and I forget who else he said was there, but there was like six fighters just sitting next to him. Sean Strickland. Roman Delice. Fiziev. Daniel Cormier. Cyril Gan. There's a Glover Teixeira, Allen and Ginter. Whoa. Yo, yo, yo. Hello. All the glory. Khabib. And I don't know if they're all refractors, but this one is. I'm going to guess that this is a rare card just because I've opened 10 boxes. 10 boxes or so. We just pulled this one out. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, I got to look up the odds in this to see exactly, but I think this is pretty big. 
I think it's like, and also to get Khabib is awesome. We gotta, we gotta check the, uh, we gotta check these numbers though. If somebody has a minute, if you pull up that top sheet of the video, uh, see, see what a Khabib all the glory. Well, I just any all the glory, and if there's a refractor version, see what the odds are on that one. Yeah, I've gotten lucky with some of them, and I got that Khabib, uh, the king card too from the hobby box, and that's at PSA also right now. Macy Barber. Montessera Conejo Refractor. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I just dropped one there. Whew. Looks a little right heavy. Come on now. <laughs> um, yeah, you're right. You are most definitely correct, but it's still cool. Case hit for retail. All right, all right. Virna Jandaroba, which I'm, I'm glad that happened because, you know, anytime you do a Frankenstein case and it's not a case case, you're you're going to get two or none. Like, it's not, there's never just one. Shara Bullet. Bill Algeo. Amanda Limosh. We got a Sparkle to 299. Themba Garimbo, Zimbabwe's finest. That's cool. I may send that to my friend Ruva. She lives in Belgium, but she's from Zimbabwe. And they love this guy. Themba Garimbo. Uh, brick by Brick. And Blagoy Ivanov. And Matus Rebecki X-Factors. One in 121 packs. No stat on Refractor. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have like an electric uh, microscope and measure the exact width on the sides. It does look like it'd be a nine, though. I think. I don't know. I'll look at it more. Uh, Otman Isatar. We got packs to open. Mackenzie Dern, Arnold Allen, Alexander Volkanovsky. There's a Taylor Santos to one fifty. Let's hope that's just a bonus card like there was before. So far, this box is not bad. Khabib, All the Glory, and a Taylor Santos Auto. One in 121 packs, and what is there, six per box? So that's essentially one in, yeah, it's a case set, one in 20 boxes. Fired Up, I'll say it the right way so no one gets upset. Alexander Rakic, and Kamza Chemayev X-Factor, I like that. It's not like egregious, but... We'll, have to, we'll see. We'll see. PSA is getting a little pricey these days. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's like a, it's like twenty five bucks a card lately. Max Holloway, Neil Magny, Rob Font, Bilal, Adrian Yanez. We got a DC Allen and Ginter insert. Alexa Grasso and Hoist Gracie Refractor. Last sold is 88 Raw. Is it a refractor? Are they all refractors? Oh, dude. Kamzat Shemaev is going to murder Waker. The ground game is just too strong. Sergei Spivak. Umar Nurmagomedov. That fight might be over in the first round. Azamat Mirzakhanov. Carla Esparza. Here's a prism refractor for Brandon Royval. Chuck Liddell. Hall of Fame card, insert. Grant Dawson and Juliana Pena, X-Factor. I just hope it's a similar fight to Burns one. I don't think it will be because Gilbert Burns fights totally different and has, like, a offensive jiu-jitsu ability as well. Uh, Whitaker is, like, pretty bad on his back, and I think Kamzat's going to take him there right away. In round one or two, if anything, after the... I don't think I just don't think that Whitaker is going to be able to hang out with him on the feet even because I think he, Kamzat hits a lot harder. Like there's a huge power difference between those two. I think it's really just to build Kamzat's resume. Ode Ode Osborne, Ricky Simone, and Whitaker just had a pretty close fight too. Like he won, but it, it was he was pretty banged up when it was over too. Pedro Munoz, Ludovic Klein. 
Aaron Blanchfield, Brick by Brick Taporia. Thanks for all this, the info on the Khabib, too. I appreciate it. JDM, Rodrigo Nascimento, X Factors. If he gets him down once, I think it's it's game over, to be honest. Drickus might be able to handle some of the wrestling, but probably not all of it. Sean O'Malley. I don't think they're going to let Kamza fight Drickus yet. They, they're going to... Like, when they get a champion, they don't want him to lose right away. They're, they want Drickus to win two or three, four in a row. And then if he can't keep going, then they'll let somebody eat him. Yudong Song. Valentina Shevchenko. Dusko Todorovic. Rob Font. There's... Uh, Yasmin, Luc Yasmin Lucindo, Alan Ginter, Raul Rosas Jr., X-Factor, and a JDM Refractor. Can't be blitzing Kamzat. Yeah, that's true. If you blitz Kamzat, I think you're just going to sleep. Well, South Africa definitely needs champions and big fan favorites and to grow that market, so... They want Drickus for sure, but I think they'll just they'll hold off on letting Kamzak get involved. Let Kamzak get a couple more good wins, two th two and a half years go by, and then he becomes champ. Inu Mizuki. Val Woodburn. Carlston Harris. Brendan Allen. Sean O'Malley to 75. That's pretty good. Check this out. Blue Wave, Sean O'Malley. Nice little card there. I'm not a big fan, but I know a lot of people are. I Sean O'Malley was talking some nonsense. He wants to have a trilogy fight with Cheeto, and I was like, I hope that happens, and I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> the Khabib Hall of Fame. This one's going to PSA. <laughs> $3 insert, paying 25 to grade. It's a 10, baby. It's a 10. <laughs> Um, he was talking about having a trilogy fight with Cheeto, and I was like, I hope it happens, but I hope Cheeto goes and just works on his footwork, like exclusively footwork for the next year, and comes out and goes ham. Sean O'Malley, Jessica Andrade, X Factors. Some of these like big name X Factors probably go for a couple bucks. Sean Blue Wave. Was it a seventy five? Oh yeah, it is a bookend. Nice. I find that it doesn't really get too much extra money uh, out of all the cards I've bought and sold, but it feels good. RDA. Patty the Batty. Blagoy Ivanov. Alexander Rakic. Uh, another Joanna. All right. Interesting. We're, we're looping Joanna autos here. Joanna Jajacek. Otto. The other one, I think, was a. Uh, is a champion auto or something? I think it's a. It might be the same one. Fired up Justin Taffa. Diego Lopes X Factor. That's another one. Like could be interesting. Take a look. I feel like a lot of faces haven't shown up in this case. Cheeto needs to apply pressure instead of trying to counter punch. Well, I think yeah, he did well in showing us on the back foot, kind of. But the problem was was the. The, like it's really a, just a footwork battle that he was losing the whole time, so he ended up he like he couldn't get inside and connect, so he was kind of standing still waiting to counter punch, but it was like it's really the footwork. He he wasn't inside the pocket without like lunging in and going after him. Marab Devashavili, which is something you can learn to do, like to just get inside. Matt Schnell, but I think that's why he was doing so much counter punching early. Matus Gamrat. And that O'Malley gut shot at the end, the gut shot heard around the world, uh, that gave me hope. Like that, okay. Like he, he's still like clobbering this guy, but he needs to get on him and land more strikes at a higher rate. Alexa Grasso, Grant Dawson, and I'm I'm a Cheeto guy, so you know I'm I'm gonna I'm a fanboy on Cheeto. I, I own about six dollars worth of his cards, but I'm a I'm a fan. Pantoja, I just like him. Luena Carolina, X Factor. And there he is. There he is. What's not to like about this guy? Man eats two New York strip steaks a day. A day. Sean O'Malley is eating quinoa and oats.
Yeah, Sean, Sean did exactly what he had to do to not get lit up. And that's fine. That, that's fine. Kelvin Gastelum. Justin Taffa. JDM. Jamal Emmers. It's been a drought. I've gotten no Poetan cards tonight for my collection. Corey Sandhagen. Prism Refractor. I was hoping for a 101 there, but it's not base. Base insert Jones. There's a Drickus Duplus C and a Valentina X Factor. Still no Khabib X Factor. Late in the case. Robbie Lawler. Sergei Pavlovich. Taylor Santos. Damone Blackshear. Johnny Parsons. We got his auto earlier. There's an Umar Nurmagomedov brick by brick. Davison Figueredo and Inu Mizuki X Factor. Sucks that his house got robbed while he was fighting? What? Who is that? Send you some Khabibs I got sitting around here. Johnny E, what Khabibs do you have? Your Khabib is coming. <laughs> Grant Dawson. JDM. There's a Khabib. Manel Cop. Daniel Cormier Sparkle Card, the 299. There it is. A little sparkle action to 299. All right. Fried up. Carlos Ulberg. Volkanovsky and Hanato Morciano. Nothing big. Cheeto's house got broken in, so he's gone for the night. Jesus. A couple of purples, a green prism, some others. All right. Well, don't don't feel like you got to do anything, guys. This is a one-way street on this show. <laughs> Jamal Emmers. I appreciate it, though, but uh, don't don't feel like you got to do anything special. Damone Blackshear. Rose Namajunas, Tai Tuivasa. The Jens Pulver Auto. Octagon Legend, Jens Pulver, Hall of Fame. So definitely a lot more Hall of Fame autos in this product than the hobby else as well. But Jens Pulver is cool. I read about him. I got his card like six months ago or something, and then I read about him, and it's super interesting. Kamaru Usman, Arnold Allen, and a Shavkat X Factor. Some of these X Factors I'm going to have to look into because, like, Shavkat, Ilya, like, they're, some of them, I don't know. I don't know if they're worth grading, but they might be ones that are reasonable to sell. I send more free packages than I do paid ones. I love those Octagon Legend autos. I agree. I think it looks cool. Islam Makachev. Jalen Almeida. Johnny Walker. Look at Anthony Smith falling out of the card. <laughs> That's awesome. Is that the only card like that? Like, here's Cheeto and it's fully within. This one, they're just knocking they're just knocking Smith out of the card. <laughs> like, it's crazy. I'm gonna be looking for that now. Like I it's the only one I think it's outside the frame. Magomed Hankalaev, brick by brick, Bo Nickel. There's a little Bo Nickel action for you. Cyril Gan X Factor, Umar Refractor. I'm gonna start calling people to get now. Fried up, fried up. All right, Elvis Brenner, Josh Quinlan. I just think he's got one foot out the door. Dusko Todorovic, Caitlin Sermonara, Virna Jandaroba. Israel Adesanya, Alan and Ginter, Bill Elgio, and Marco Sergio de Lima X Factors. I need the Khabib X Factor. It's crazy how many I've opened to not have like gotten a set. I mean, I've got a mountain of X Factors here. Dan Ige, 
I've gotten no Jamal Hill, no Poetan, and no Khabib that I know of. Carlson Harris, Brendan Allen, who is that? Michelle Pereira, Hoist Gracie, Tito Ortiz, Hall of Fame. Nice. Nice one. Amanda Limosh and Mike Davis, X Factors. John Jones has gain outside. Yeah, okay. If anyone gets a PSA 10 Khabib X Factor, I'm looking for one. Blagoy Ivanov. Part of my goal with buying all these boxes over the last few weeks was to get as many of the Khabib, like Rainbow, together as I could. A little benefit of the project. Alexander Rakic. Alexa Grasso. Stipe Miocic. Vulcan Uzdemir, Brick by Brick Arnold Allen, and we've got a Nikita Krylov X and a Dominic Cruz Refractor. Yeah, I got two or three Jamal Hills so far tonight. But I've got like a Magenta Poetan, so I've got a few bucks like more on that side, I think. Panny Kianzad, which is fine. I don't care. It's, a, it's close enough. Whatever it is, it'll be fun. Miles Johns. Marvin Vittori. I may videotape the uh, the card buyback because I think I'm going to have a lot of them. And it might be funny when I walk in there and bring them all these guys. So we'll see. If, if it looks like it's going to be funny, I'll videotape it and put it up. Jamie Pickett. Colby Covington. I'll see if uh, Dan B's around that day too. Fry it up. Yuri Prochaska. Elves Brenner. Big rookie right now. And Michael Chandler. Do the X Factors get a price bump for the turn in? Uh, you know, I don't have the sheet in front of me, but I imagine they're the same as like a silver. But I could be totally wrong. I, somebody can check it. Um, I put it on Instagram if anyone wants to look on there. Khalil Roundtree, Kaikara France, Brian Ortega, Benil Dariush. Ooh, Curtis Blades. Good look there after the uh, Jalen Almeida beatdown. Curtis Razorblades from Chicago. That's, I mean, not a B-list auto. Like, he's not a superstar, but it's not, not a bad auto. GSP, Allen and Ginter. How do you like that? Josh Quinlan and Manon Fioro. Alright, we got a couple of packs here and then four more boxes. One, two, three, four. Fried up. They do have different tiers for the payout. Yeah. Yeah, like if I have the Magenta Poetan is worth 40 bucks, but a, a base is worth 20, something like that. Manuel Torres. Marco Sergio de Lima. Mike Davis. And Shul Jubilee. I put his black card number to 10 up on eBay for 500 bucks. No one has responded. Alexander Volkov. I didn't think it was worth 500 but I was like, I have no idea how to price a card for a rookie that doesn't exist yet. Uh, Ian Machado Gary, brick by brick. Dusko Todorovic, X-Factor. There we go. Nice little refractor Khabib. It looks like the edges are all lined up good, too. Put that one aside. What do we got? Three packs. Hey, man, this is Chadwick. Sorry, I just got a chance to jump in. Yes. I, some of you probably saw it. Chadwick and I were chatting on Facebook. And he, did you get your box? Nikita Krylov. Hanato Moishiano. Shavkat. Chris Gutierrez. Rose Namajunas, Prism Refractor. There's a Drickus Duplessis fried up. Dan Ige and Leon Edwards with a print line. X-Factor. <laughs> that is the X-Factor. Whether or not there's a print line on them. Oh, you get it tomorrow. Okay. Well, if you get... So, Chadwick, if you get your box tomorrow, 
and open it up. On Wednesday night this week, I'm going to do a full case of blasters. So just pop in and let us know what, what you got in that mega. Tom Aspinall. And you can come back anytime you want. Zhang Wee Lee. William Gomes. Ilya Taporia. Jalen Turner. There's an Aljamain Sterling. Alan Ginter. Carlston Harris. And Kamaro Usman with the X Factor of a print line in it. All right, last pack out of here. Then four more boxes to go. Hey, I, I hope you get something great. I, I just got a Khabib all the glory. Which is, I think we said it was like one in 120 packs. So, yeah, it'll be fun. Let, let me know what you got. Hafa Garcia. Paul Craig. Michael Chandler. Brad Katona. There's an Alan Nascimento. Path Blazer, Uriah Faber, Base. We have Natalia Cristina da Silva, X Factor with a print line. And Jack Hermanson, Refractor. All right, we're down to the final four. Let's hope we get something crazy. All right. One, two, three, and four. Looking for crazy hits in the final four boxes here tonight. 101 Diego Lopes auto was already pulled. Somebody got the Khabib 101 Super Fractor, and I think it was out of a blaster. And I emailed him, asked him if he wanted to sell said card. And I got a thumbs up or a smiley face or something. <laughs> not, a, not a definitive conversation. I did get a really rare card, though, uh, that I'll, I'll share. I got to go pick all this stuff up from my box, and uh, I'll, I'll pop it up there and show everyone. I got a bunch of stuff in the mail, but I got a really rare Khabib that I'm excited about. It's a, it's a Khabib 101 that they only made the series of card once, and I just scooped it up. So get that, uh, I think, Wednesday. I gotta hit the box and grab that. Ooh, that, this pack tried to get away. We'll open that one last. All right. That one, this pack is last. Put them on the bottom over here. Two. All right, final four. And then we'll do a quick little review. Johnny was at a hobby. Can you throw any Natalia in my pack? Sure. Uh, that is a print line. I'll look. I'll see. I assume you don't want the one with the print line. Jamie Pickett. Colby Covington. <coughs> Ortega. Juliana Pena. Rodrigo Nascimento. Who's that? Camaro? Camaro Usman, Alan Ginter. Connor McGregor, the Roadhouse Man himself, X Factor. And Kaikara France, Refractor. Last four. I believe it's a Breaker's Delight. Uh, sorry, what was it? The, the Khabib? Yeah, I will actually. I'm, I'm going to have a bunch of mail. I'll just show it off Wednesday before the we start ripping blasters. Because making a mail day video and all that, it's like, it's okay. But those don't really do well anyways. So I'll just show it off. I'll show you guys what I picked up on Wednesday. Benil Dariush. Anshul Jubilee. Alexander Volkov. Somebody remind me, and I'll, I'll show off the new Khabib merch on Wednesday. Stephen Thompson. Max Holloway, Prism Refractor. Donald Cerrone, Pathblazer, Base. Calvin Qatar and Rodrigo Nascimento, X-Factor. So there's two X-Factor parallels per pack. So you're getting 12 per box. So you're getting 240 of them per case. So... You should have close to the whole set in a case. Chris Gutierrez. Ilya Taporia. Jalen Turner. Tim Elliott. Shaylin Nerdenbecki. 
Brick by Brick, Drickus Duplass C Base, Brandon Moreno X Factor, and Steven Thompson X Factor. I'll, I'll send you an address uh, when, I, when I get on there. Brad Katona. Alan Nascimento. Anthony Smith. Alonzo Menafield. Movsar Underrated Evloyev. Connor, who's it? Dustin Fried Up. Fried Up Dustin. Tim Elliott X Factor. And a Chuck Liddell Refractor. I would also say I'm probably pretty close to having like the entire X Factor, but also the uh, the Refractor set. Anshul Jubilee, Volkov, Chris Gutierrez, Sungwoo Choi, Nasruddin Imovov. What is that? Donald Cerrone Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame cards are awesome. This is the maybe the best insert out of them all. It's it, there's something about it. Just it looks great. Jessica Andraj X Factor and a Ricky Simone Refractor. I'm gonna I'll I'll do the Khabib reveal on Wednesday. I'm gonna make everyone wait. It's so cool. Assuming I didn't get scammed out of many dollars, it should be there uh, when I pick it up. Ian Machado, Gary, Jamal Hill. It's another $20 roll of the dice there. Shogun Hua. Cheeto. Ryan Span. Aqua. It's a $199. Alrighty. Ryan Superman Span. We've gotten only one parallel on these Allen and Ginters. Yasmin Lucindo. Amanda Nunez. And Shaylin Nurdenbecki X Factor. You're sniping on eBay. <laughs> I th I thought Poetan was when I first thought about it, um, but I I don't know. I think Jamal Hill is pretty dangerous. Jaslyn Edwards, and I don't think it's Poetan's footwork isn't like shocking. It's just uh, he he just connects on everything. Jared Cannonier, Magomed Ankalaev. Caitlin Sermonara and Dominic Reyes auto to 10. Dominic Reyes to 10. What are we even doing here? Number one of 10 bookend Dominic Reyes auto. Thing the plot thickens. Movsar Evloyev, Nate Brown. Is that a refractor? It's not. Alex Pereira, there we go. X Factor. And Alonzo Menafield. Love that dude. Yeah, Dominic Reyes, 1 to 10 bookend. So, I mean, that's by far the. Well, that or the Khabib is the biggest, like, hit just for the rarity, but. Uh, Dominic Reyes, he's another, and his cards don't sell real well. So big auto in the last box. Ah, we'll see. Might get something else. Ilya Teporia. When I opened that uh, 22 Prism blaster case, I opened 19 boxes, and the 20th one had the Michael Chandler green pulsar to 25, so you never know. Jalen Turner, Brad Katona, Michael Chiesa, Shara Bullet Prism Refractor, Brick by Brick, my man Shavkat. Diego Lopes X Factor and a Chandler X Factor. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm glad to see a one of ten because it's it just feels very middle of the way with these. Like, it's fun to get an auto in every box. It's fun to get one serial number. It's fun to get a bunch of parallels, but after you open 20 boxes, it's kind of like, all right, like, I wish I was getting something a little bigger. Nascimento, Anthony Smith, Ian Machado Gary, Mathus Nicolau, 
Ketlin Vieira fried up Justin Taffa. Beware the man. Luana Carolina and Manon Fioro, X Factor. Evan Nunes, Green Pulsar Fireworks. Yeah, it's a great card. Diego Lopes 101 got pulled. Yeah. He's good. Uh, Torres is the only undefeated one, though. But, but uh, Lopes, didn't he lose to Movsar? So it's like, you. here's another $20 potential. Uh, losing to Movsar is not a bad look. And I think it was a decision. He didn't get finished. Jocelyn Edwards. So I think, like, that's the kind of stuff where I see the value of these cards. Like, the, people being high on Lopes... After a loss by decision to to Movsar, that's the right that's the right idea. Like the Elo rating on that guy is like he's a high level contender on his first fight and he will improve. Jared Cannonier, Justin Gaethje, Paulo Costa, Mackenzie Dern, Alan Ginter, Leon Edwards, and Cyril Gan. Diego's tough test. Who's he fighting next? That's that's three. Yeah, <laughs> Manon Fiora. That's three now we've seen outside the border. Yeah, he has some of the crazy slay kicks. Dominic Reyes again. Arena Dania. Parker Porter. Vanessa Demopoulos. Base cards are falling over. Whoa. This is good. Bruno Ferreira, rookie to 150. It's a nice little pickup right there. And the remainder is Michelle Pereira, Pathblazer, Drickus, and Kamaru X Factor. What female fighter sells the best? I was I would say hands down it was uh, Aaron Blanchfield until two days ago, and then probably closely behind would be like Tatiana Suarez, Manon Fioro is going to be up there now, um, Shevchenko is down but still like middle, and Nunez is kind of in the middle now, Adrian Yanez, Asmat Mirzakhanov, Sean Strickland, Roman Delice, Ryan Span Auto. All right, Ryan Superman Span with the auto. We got a Jelton Almeida, Brick by Brick. Davison Figueredo and Natalia Cristina da Silva, X-Factor. She actually... Oh, you wanted one of those, didn't you? This uh, does not have a print line. Uh, Natalia Cristina da Silva, she's like real real high dollar in breaks. Just because I think she's got a shot like as being a, a future champ, but... We'll see. Karini Killa Silva from 23 is my, my pick. Pantoja. Anderson Silva. Bryce Mitchell. Matt Schnell. Matus Gamrat. Brick by Brick Evloyev. We have Anderson Silva, X Factor, and Rob Font, Refractor. Tatiana Suarez is good. Valentina, yeah, Valentina was was real high for a while. Demir Ismagulov, Gilbert Burns. And you, actually, you know who the highest is, to be honest? It's probably Ronda Rousey. Old Ronda Rousey tops triple threads are going for thousands of dollars. Jack Hermanson, Calvin Gastelum, Hafiel Fiziev, Prism Refractor. Fried up, Yuri Prochaska. Bryce Mitchell and Umar Nurmagomedov, X-Factors. Grasso is on the rise, I agree. Tatiana Suarez is a beast, man. Kayla Harrison might be really good. If she can dominate Holly Holm, uh, she's going to be in the mix for sure. Yuri Prochaska, Fernando Padilla, Chika Chikatsi. As I said that, I was like... It's like, if 5 plus 5 equals 10, it's definitely 10. Like, I mean, it's like a no-brainer, but it, it remains to be seen if it does happen. Justin Taffa. 
Robbie Lawler, Mackenzie Dern, Alan Ginter, Demir Ismagulov, and Ode Osborne X Factors. Tatiana Suarez is tough, man. She had cancer, was out for a few years, came back, won her next fight. Like, it's hard to do. Dominic Cruz, Daniel Cormier, Cyril Gan, Sergei Pavlovich, Taylor Santos. I wish it was a refractor, Anderson Silva. Ricky Simone and Fernando Padilla. Well, I see now why the Pathblazer parallels are so rare. Because they are. Uh, PCLF Fighters cards are cheaper. Does Jonathan Martinez have a card? Yes. In 2023, I believe. Uh, yes, you can. Bill Algeo. Amanda Limosh. Yan Zhao Nan. What is this? I'm going to tell you right now, this is the first card I've seen backwards out of everything I've opened. It's Sean Brady. And it's a base card. <laughs> what is this? Why is there a backwards Sean Brady in here to overhype my brain? Ah, oh, come on, Tops. I thought we had had a monster. Uh, but I do have a Blagoy even off. It's numbered 98 of 199. That is also the number of times he was stabbed and then came back to continue fighting. Blagoy Ivanov, ladies and gentlemen. He should change his nickname to, like, the Human Pincushion. Uh, John Jones, that's a refractor, so that's good. That's a second refractor, Jones, Allen, and Ginter. And what do we got here? We got Gilbert Burns and Pedro Munoz, X-Factors. So kind of a weird pack. I I didn't know what it was. I wasn't trying to oversell it. I just I was like, this is the first backwards card I've seen in out of however gazillion packs we've opened here. Alexander Volkanovsky, Arnold Allen, Themba Garimbo, Malcolm Gordon, Ode Osborne to one fifty. So these are getting these are getting a little more interesting. I like to see. I'm happy there's some serial numbers popping up. Fired up. With Carl Zulberg. Jack Hermanson. Panny Kianzad. X Factor. All right, we're on to the final box here of our case break of Megas. We've got a few interesting cards, but we are for sure nowhere near the purchase price of these. Not even close. Henry Cejudo. I think Blasters might be fire, though. Yair Rosenstrike. Jan Blahovich. Valentina Shevchenko. Inua Mizuki. There's a Bo Nickel fired up. Rosenstrike X Factor. I can't believe I didn't get a Khabib. Sean Strickland Refractor. How did I not get a Khabib X Factor out of 20 boxes? Lagoy fights for the PFL in three days. <laughs> Ode is cool. He's like, I think he's from Jamaica and he's, he lives in the U.S. now, but he's a school teacher. He seems like a real, like, solid guy. Jake Hadley. Jamie Pickett. Long gone. Vale Woodburn. Rafael Dos Anjos. Alexa Grasso. Prism Refractor. Brick by Brick Umar Base. We got a Jan Blahovich and a Movsar Evloyev X Factor. And remember that last card on the bottom was hiding in the box. And that means absolutely nothing, but we'll open it last. Dude, I kind of agree. I think he's he's struggling in the UFC. I like him as a person. I think he's very powerful, but he's probably like a contender in PFL and like can't get all the way to the top of the UFC. Colby Covington, Brian Ortega, Dariush, Patty the Batty, Marab. We haven't seen many of his cards tonight either. Tito Ortiz, Hall of Fame. One thing I'll tell you about these I like is there's inserts, but they're not 
You don't feel like you're getting ripped off because there's so many inserts. Jake Hadley and Shogun Hua X Factor. Hey, remember, if you've enjoyed yourself tonight, and I hope you have, uh, please hit like, comment, subscribe, and if you do that, you'll be entered for a chance to win a, a mega box that we're giving away at the end of the month. And it's totally free. Shipping's free, box is free, everything's free. Uh, you just gotta like, comment, subscribe, and we'll randomly pick one of those comments. Anshul Jubilee, and I'll announce the winner on Wednesday for the March one. I meant to do it today and I forgot. Alexander Volkov, Chris Gutierrez, Matt Schnell, Matus Gamrat, Mohamed Makayev, Brick by Brick. We got a Cheeto X Factor and a Josh Emmett Refractor. Two to go. Chris Dawkins in every set. <laughs> Chris Dawkins. Hope you didn't pay for it, Canada. Had a lot of potential. You won't say his name. It was graded and it got $7. <laughs> Ilya Taporia. Jalen Turner. Brad Katona. Kelvin Gastelum. Well, the grading service is worth about $25 now, so that's like the floor on these. Justin Taffa. We got a Nunez, Allen, and Ginter. Uh, Jamie Pickett. Magomed and Kaliev, and we're down to the final pack. Yeah, like, count, you can comment on any of the videos that are posted in this month of April. So any videos posted in the month of April that we do, uh, you, you can just leave a comment and you have a chance to win. And I appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Alan Nascimento, Anthony Smith, Robbie Lawler, Sergey Pavlovich, what is this? Caitlin, oh, I thought it was Manon Fioro from it. We got a Caitlin Sermonara in the final pack. She was trying to hide. Formerly known as Miss Chikagian. So an auto in the final pack. And the last one here. Michelle Pereira, base. These Pathblazers, we got no parallels. I'm telling you, if you see a parallel, it's rare. Brian Ortega in a Sermonera X Factor. So I got robbed on my, my Khabib hunt tonight, but alas, we will find it eventually. All right. Here's all the uh, here's all the color that we picked up. Blagoy even off to 99. We got a Bruno Ferrara rookie to 150, which I like. It's a good looking card too. Uh, Ryan Span Aqua to 199. We got a Sparkle Cormier. These are the two ninety nine. These are exactly the same card as you get in Hobby. Sean O'Malley Blue Wave to seventy five. Pretty big card. Themba Garimbo, which is going off to my Zimbabwean friend. It's two ninety nine. Movsar Evloyev, underrated, undervalued to one ninety nine. Orange cards, which feels like a big pull out of the here. Ketlin Vieira to twenty five. Uh, Jiga Chikatse to 150, blue. Another orange card, Dustin Poirier, number 24-25. These feel good. Getting an orange out of here feels very good. Amanda Nunez, Aqua 199. We got a Gilbert Burns to 99, green. Dominic Cruz, Sparkle, 299. Tito Ortiz, blue wave to 75, and a Stephen Thompson. So... The paralleled hits, serial numbered hits, whatever you want to say, pretty good stuff. It's averaging about one per box, and I'm just eyeballing that, but I'm pretty sure it's one per box. So if you're buying a mega box, I would say expect one serial number, expect one auto. We'll go over these autos that we picked up here. And it looks like predominantly these are going to be like kind of more mid-level and uh, Hall of Fame type rookies. Which is okay, but let's see what we got. And then I got uh, my Khabib card back there. Do a little auto review. Okay, so here's all the autos. Somebody count them and let me know how many we got. Caitlin Sermonara, this is a signatures auto. Ryan Spann, signature auto. This is a Chrome Rookie Auto, Ode Osborne to 150. Curtis Blades, these are signatures cards. What are they? 
Authentic Tops Chrome Signatures card. Here's the Octagon Legend Gens Pulver, which I think is cool. Uh, Joanna Jajacek, Signature. Dominic Reyes, this is to 10, Signature card. Taylor Santos, this, uh, this is to 150. Here's a Frank Shamrock Auto, Octagon Legend. Rob Font. Tony El Kakui Ferguson, Octagon Legend. Matus Gamrat. Song Yidong, pretty good. Jiga Chikatse. Got a Brandon Roy Val. Corey Sandhagen to 150. Here's another Johnny Parsons rookie chrome. That is not serial numbered. And it is the same Joanna, Joanna Jajacek, another one. And Hafiel Fiziev. So kind of like mid-level and kind of interesting. I mean, the uh, the Brandon Royval is interesting. The rookie chrome autos are interesting. I think the Ray is the 10 is interesting. So that's all good stuff. Uh, I did pick up this, which obviously I'm happy it's a Khabib. Uh, all the glory, it's roughly one and a... It's like one one of these All the Glory cards per case of Mega Boxes. So be on the lookout for these for sure if you see them. And then I'll show you just kind of real briefly here. Here's the stack of Prism Refractors. Let's see, there's about, uh, I don't know, 10. Maybe 10 Prism Refractors, all different types that we got in there. Uh, so those are still very relatively rare, uh, even in the hobby. The hobby box had very few of them too. So that's just like a real low kind of silver output. Uh, these are the refractors, just silver refractors. There's 25 or so in there. So good amount of those. And then the X Factor, there's there's two per pack. Um, I've got a stack. So there's two per pack, six packs per box. That's 12, 20 cases. That's 120 of them. So I've got stacks of X Factors. They're not particularly rare because you get them in every pack, but... The certain fighters are. Like, I didn't get a Jamal Hill. I didn't get a Khabib. I got one Poetan. I don't think I got a GSP. Like, there's certain ones they feel are hard to get. Um, so, overall, I think the value the value in this one is a lottery ticket. That's what I think. I think it's if you're going to go for this one, you're expecting one auto that's mid-level. You're expecting one parallel that's mid-level, based on what we saw. Mostly it's aqua, but there's some orange. Um, the potential is big. You can always you can always do better, right? There's always a chance for something big. But I think you're you're trying if you're going for mega boxes moving forward, and this is just my twenty box opinion. I think you're buying one mega box to hang out on a Saturday night and open just for fun, and you're gonna get an auto which will be fun. You're gonna get a serial number. You're gonna get some some X factors that hopefully don't have print lines, some refractors, you're going to get some stuff. You're going to have stuff in your hand. You get some cool inserts. And I think that's just like a fun rip. Um, buying the full case, let's say this was the complete case, I got the hit. I, it doesn't pay for the case, and it's really not even close. Uh, all the autos combined, all the serial numbers combined, I'm probably like less than like 40% or something. That could be this selection of 20 um, but it, it feels a little light on value. Uh, it feels pretty good in terms of like getting cards, like getting nice stuff in your hand, but a little light in, in financial value. That's how, that's how I feel about it. Uh, I'm happy I did it because I, I wanted to see it, and I got a few more cards for my UFC 300. But I think just to proceed with caution. Like It's not a mega value. Um, it's, it's cool that they guarantee an auto, but... It feels like if this was a blaster box for 30 bucks, I would say just buy them all day long. But because it's twice the amount of a blaster box, it's kind of like, it feels like you're paying $30 for a guaranteed auto and a shot at something else. So we'll, we'll see. Um, in two days, we're going to do the case of uh, Topps Chrome Blasters. We're going to let those babies rip all 40. So I'm going to put band-aids on my fingers, get a little lotion, get ready get prepared and uh, we'll rip through 40 of those and we'll see what that feels like i i kind of feel like we might get a monster we've done really well with blasters over the last uh, year that we've been doing this and uh, i think it'll be fun so i'm excited 
Uh, free giveaway will be a Mega. Unless, if the Blasters turn out to be awesome, I'll just do a bunch of Blasters. But right now I'm saying we're giving away a Mega. Maybe I'll let you pick. If you win, you can pick. Uh, but we're giving away a Mega Box or Blasters. You pick. End of this month. So like, comment, subscribe. Just uh, And then you're in. Each video you do it, you get a chance and we'll randomly pull it. I'll announce the winner. And I'll show off my Khabib 101 that I think is super rare and kind of unique on Wednesday. So that's it for tonight. I hope you all had fun. I hope you saw something you haven't seen before. And uh, we'll, we'll be back in two days. So have a good rest of the week. See you shortly. Bye, everyone.